Rebecca Jim, this next story incredible. We are told a man survived after going over the Starkey Dam and floating downstream. Neighbors in Spicewood came to his rescue, saying they just happened to be in the right place at the right time. KXAN's Eugene Cho is standing by at Starkey Dam with the story. The good news is it sounds like everyone is going to be okay. Now the Starkey Dam is here near Marble Falls. This is it right here. From where I am standing up on a hill, I can hear it. I can see the power of that water. This is the fall. The neighbors believe the man survived. And where that man was found is about 20 to 30 minutes from here driving. I heard help, help me. And it was real faint. It's like, did I just hear that? They sure did. It was a cry for help coming from the flood water. At first, Jay Diamond and Mike Zembic couldn't see where it was coming from. There was so much debris and things, you couldn't tell one thing from another. Another person with them spotted the man. He was he was out about where that, that's our dock that was over here, and now it's just out there. But it was about that far away. I, I don't know, we just reacted, and we just took off. Luckily for the man fighting to stay afloat, the current pushed him closer to the shore close enough so neighbors could throw him a life preserver. Uh, he's pretty shook up, but I mean, he was able to walk and he's pretty coherent. The man told them. Uh, he was trying to secure his boat and two jet skis. He's trying to start the boat. The next thing you know, he said uh, everything, he just went over, or, or went over the dam. And uh, he said he went under about five or six times. He said he took a bunch of water and he said I was about ready to give up. I said, I'm glad you didn't. With some help, the man got to call his wife. He told her that uh, he was okay, and uh, like I said, it was it was emotional. But uh, he made it. It's just a, a miracle he survived all that. The neighbors told me they kept the man dry and warm in their car until EMS could get there. They believe he suffered hypothermia, but they're so glad they believe he is going to be okay. Back to you.